the best Minecraft server hosting companies of 2023. That's what we're going to be looking at in this video. We do one of these videos every single year, keeping them up to date, making sure that you're most informed and getting the best Minecraft server hosting possible. Now, right up front, I do want to mention that we have affiliate relationships with every company that we mention on this channel. It's mostly because it's how we keep the lights on here. It's how we can do in-depth looks spending hundreds of dollars a year on Minecraft servers just for this video in order to make sure that we give you the best hosts out there. If that's something you don't like, you can go to these websites directly and all that, but if you do buy through the links in the description or on our website, it does provide us a little bit of a commission at zero additional cost to you. We would never take an affiliate deal that meant you were going to pay more. This doesn't make sense. So I do want to disclose that up front, but again, every server host out there, we have some sort of an affiliate relationship with because it's just possible for a channel of this size to get those sort of setups. Nevertheless, I want to disclose that. Not only do we have to, I just think it's the right thing to do. First on the list, though, is Apex Minecraft Hosting. There's a reason that we work with them all the time on the channel. They constantly win this list year after year. There are a few different categories we're going to be looking at this year to judge these hosts. First is pricing. Obviously, this is super important because, well, you want to know how much you're paying for the server and you want to make sure you're not getting screwed over by overpaying. On top of that, we're going to be looking at support. More often than not, Minecraft servers can be difficult to host, especially when you get into plugins and mods and things like that. And it's nice to have a resource to reach out to 24 seven that you can talk to about issues. So with that support is something we're going to be looking at and taking very seriously. Next up is hosting locations. You want to make sure that you have a hosting location that's uh, relatively close to you because the easier it is to connect to the server, the better. And the closer the hosting location to you and where you live, the better. So how many hosting locations each of these hosts have is something we will look at. Next up is mod pack supported. I think mod packs are one of the best things that you can use a Minecraft server for. Playing mod packs with your friends is super fun, and one click installation of mod packs is especially a must have for a server host. We're going to be looking at that today. And last but not least is server hardware. Price for hardware is something that no one talks about that is very, very important. Minecraft servers rely more and more on CPUs in 2023 than in any other time in history. It's been getting more and more common over the past few years, and now, if you're hosting a Minecraft server, you need a good CPU. We're going to be talking about hardware in this video and what exact hardware these hosting companies have. I say all that to say this. This video is in-depth, and we're only covering three hosts this year, but it's still in-depth. We did actually cover more, and you can find those in the description down below with an article on our website. There's two other options down there, another budget option, as well as an option that has a very unique backend that, if you want a unique backend experience, you can use. They're not featured on this list because, in my opinion, the top three are going to serve 95% of people. If you're out there, though, and they don't, check out that list in the description. We're also going to be adding in more hosts over the years. I've tested about uh, 15 hosts in the past year. This is our top picks. We're going to be adding in a few more, though, that are um, not super unique, but are good options if you do want alternatives to the ones on this list. And those will be added to the website over the next few months. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into it. Like I said, the best overall pick this year is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Starting off with price, and by the way, I don't care about sale prices with this. We're looking at what it would be with no sales, no promotions. Most server hosts offer either money off your first month or some sort of other discount. So at Apex Minecraft Hosting, though, without any discounts, you're paying $19.99 per month for a 4 gigabyte server. On top of that, you have 24 hours, seven day live chat support that when you do reach out to their chat support, they do pull up a help guide sort of situation, but it is super easy to just say, I want to talk to a real person and then you'll get a real person within seconds. On top of all of that, Apex has 15 hosting locations and supports over 260 mod packs with one click installation. Pretty good on the list, by no means the best, but also not the worst. They're kind of top middle of the road as far as mod pack support it. The biggest thing though that Apex has over a lot of the other hosts here is actually their hardware though. For that $19.99 per month, you're getting the best hardware on the list. That means you're getting AMD Ryzen 7 or Ryzen 9 CPUs, amazing single core performance on those by the way, which is what you need for a Minecraft server. And on top of all that, they strive to not overstuff their servers and create lag for people who are using them. That's something that is very, very important, and I know for a fact that Apex looks at the lag on their servers daily and makes sure that if there is a server that's performing weird, they look into why and solve it as quick as possible. Now, all of this combines to create a Minecraft server host that is by far the best overall. They have pre-made Skyblock servers, faction servers, minigame servers. No other host on our list has this. I've been looking Nobody else has it, and they have it. One-click installation for pre-made servers. They also have automated daily backups, free, do free DDoS protection, and a seven-day money-back guarantee should you have any issues. But overall, Apex is the best. They have a knowledge base that is the best out of anybody else on the list, and there's a reason time and time again they come up number one for us. Truthfully, it's amazing what Apex is able to do, 
over the years of becoming the best overall host and being able to maintain that title. However, they're not the only host you should look at. And number two on the list is Nodecraft. At Nodecraft, you will find great multi-pack support, multi-mod pack support, as well as multi-game support. So if you don't want to just host a Minecraft server, let's say for whatever reason you wanted to host a CSGO server or another game that allows for third-party hosts and third-party servers, you can do that at Nodecraft while maintaining your Minecraft server and let's say another Minecraft server with a mod pack on it all at the same time. Now you can't play on them all at the same time, but that's okay. You can easily switch between them and that's very, very unique in regards to server hosting. They call it save and swap and it's super easy to use. You're watching me do it between a vanilla server and a mod pack server on your screen right now. But let's get down to the comparison points though. As far as price goes, you're going to be paying $19.98 per month for a four gigabyte server right in line with Apex. The support, however, isn't as good. They're only online for nine hours a day, seven days a week for a live chat. So it's every single day, but it's only nine hours a day specifically during the Eastern time hours of 12.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. That is probably peak hours for most servers, but 24-hour support is such a big thing these days, and it does suck that Nodecraft doesn't have it. As far as server locations, they do have 22 locations around the world, with a large presence in North America, Europe, and the Pacific Asian reasons, meaning you're going to get low latency kind of anywhere in the world you live, which is nice to see. Modpack supported is 200 plus. I didn't get an exact number for them, but 200 plus seems to be right. I did verify that there were over 200. Other than that though, it's a very solid amount of mod packs and uh, middle of the road, if you will, from what I've seen for hosts. Like Apex, they have a seven day free trial, but that's kind of where the comparisons end because unfortunately, Nodecraft is running very old hardware, in my opinion, for the price that you're paying. So if you don't have any interest of playing multiple servers, multiple games on the same sort of server setup, then I would go with another host on the list because at Nodecraft, you're getting Intel Xenon processors. And this might not mean much to you, but no, it's a server type of CPU that's not great for gaming and running gaming servers on it. On top of that, these are older servers, which means you're kind of paying a premium price at $19.99 when you should be getting really good hardware for it, but they're not providing that. And that does suck. With that being said, they do have an amazing, amazing save and swap feature where if you want to play multiple games, you can't really beat Nodecraft. So that's where they shine. If you want the ability to easily switch between multiple mod packs, multiple games, or multiple server instances with plugins, for example, Nodecraft is the way to go. Otherwise, there are better hosts that you should check out. One of which you might consider to be Bisect Hosting. Bisect Hosting is our budget hosting option. And at Bisect, you can get a four gigabyte server for $11.96 per month. Now that is the budget option. There are a premium servers at Bisect Hosting, but there's zero difference between the hardware you get on premium and budget servers. So with that being said, go with the budget option. There's really no reason to buy a premium server at Bisect Hosting, in my opinion, simply due to the fact that the hardware is exactly the same. If there was a hardware difference, that story may change, but there's not. And unlike the rest of the hosts on this list, let's look at hardware first because, well, it is something worth noting. The Intel Xenon processors you're getting here are server CPUs like with Nodecraft. And that means you're getting lower end CPUs, but that's okay because you're paying a lower end price. You're paying that budget price, right? Which is again, $11.96 per month for a four gigabyte server, quite a deal. So you're okay with giving up a little bit of that hardware for that budget price. And that's nice to see. As far as mod pack support, they say they support over a thousand and they do on their premium server. There's actually no one click mod pack installation on the budget servers. However, if you want to run a mod pack, you can install it yourself manually. It takes a bit more, you know, time, but you can do that. Support though is very impressive with all things considered as Bicyc Toasting has 24 hour a day, seven day a week support with super quick response times. You can see us contacting them here about a simple issue. And yes, we do it anonymously. So they don't know it's us. And something else worth noting about support, I've not seen any indication anywhere that they do different support for their premium and budget customers. We're recommending the budget price here. I cannot stress that enough. And so because of that, I wanted to make sure that there was no differentiation. From what I've seen, there's not. I can't confirm if there's any backend policies on that. I'm not saying there is, but I cannot confirm that. But what I can confirm is publicly, everything looks like everybody's treated equal. And from my experience, that has been the case. So great job there. And I love to see that. Now, one more thing I want to mention about the budget plan at Bisect Hosting, and then we're kind of done with the video. There's only four hosting locations. Yes, you heard that right. For the budget plan, you can only kind of select the general region that you want your server to be hosted in, right? So the four location options are Montreal, New Jersey, Amsterdam, and France. 
That's it. Those are your only four locations that you have options to choose. And well, if one of those isn't near you, you might get a little more latency on your server. You'll probably still be able to play on it, but it won't be as lag free as, for example, me living in Daytona Beach, Florida and having a data center in Miami, Florida. Four hours away, but in the internet terms, that's pretty close together. And I can get great, great connection times because of that. However, again, you are paying such a budget price, $11.96 a month for a four gigabyte server. It kind of is worth it, in my opinion. Nevertheless, there you have it. There's our top list. Apex overall with the best mod pack support, best price for the hardware you're getting. Amazing hardware at Apex. That's what really makes them shine above everybody else because you're getting a very fair price for the best hardware out there. From there though, you have Nodecraft, which is great if you're looking for multi-game or multi-mod pack support. And then last but not least, we have Bisect Hosting with their budget plan. Getting a server for four gigabytes at $11.96 per month is a very, very good deal. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, be sure to check out the article on our website that has even more hosts for you to consider and check out. Did you pick a host on this list? Let us know your experience in the comment section down below. Anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.